Hey guys, have you ever turned up to a gig and then you kind of like get all in a fluster? Like which cable is which? Is this my DMX or is this my audio? Well, in this video, I'm about to show you one quick easy step which is going to stop all of this confusion. So yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so for this, all you're going to need is some multicolored electrical tape. Uh, why what happens just to be fire retardant tape it's basically just electrical tape just uh fireproof ish it will melt but yeah i don't believe everything they say but anyway it's fire retardant tape um so what we're going to do is we're just going to put that to one side so as you can see here i've got my microphone cable and right here i have my dmx cable now looking at these two, you would know which one is which. Obviously, yes, it says microphone cable here. And here is just blank because it's my DMX cable. So what we need to go along and do is we need to just go grab our multicolored electrical tape. Okay, so then you're going to be left with these colors here. Now, I don't really use black because quite frankly, there's no point in putting black tape on a black cable. So I'm just going to leave that off to one side. And then I'm just left with red, yellow, blue, and white. Now, I don't really use white for anything, so I'm going to leave that off to one side also. So what I normally do is I just normally use yellow, blue, and red. Now, I normally use the red if there is a cable that's damaged and I'm going to come around to fixing it. That's why I would normally use the red electrical tape for. So I normally use the red electrical tape for damaged cables just to mark them which ones are damaged. And then what I do then is I use my blue for my microphone or my audio cables and I use yellow for my DMX. Okay, so now I'm just going to grab my audio cable and I'm going to grab the blue electrical tape. I'm just going to go along and test them off right now. So I see a lot of people kind of like wrapping it around here. Um, I've got a couple of friends who wrap around on the actual cable itself. But what I actually like to do is down here where the at the top of the XLR plug, just on this bit right here with the grooves in it. What I like to do is I like to run my tape around there. So then you're not getting any sticky residue on any of the uh, cable. Now I know they, they say that electrical tape is not really sticky. Uh, it doesn't leave any sticky residue, but over time it will especially when it's exposed to heat and stuff like that. So I just should just put it around the, the XLR plug like so. I just put it around a good few times just so that you get a good few layers on there and it sticks. Like so. And then we're just going to go along and cut that off there. So now I know that this is my audio cable. And then we're just going to go along and we're going to go grab my XLR cable right here. And we're going to do the exact same to this. So once again, all the way around the top of the plug. Make sure you want to get it on there good and tight as well. You don't want it too loose. Otherwise, everything will start falling off over time. As you can see, it's starting to, starting to wrinkle there up a little bit. And once you have it on there a good few times, just cut it off wherever you need it. And that's that. So now I know that this is my DMX. I know that this is my audio. Okay, so as you can see, this is a cheaper alternative for you to organize your cables because I'm going to leave some pictures like up around here right now. As you can see, there is some multicolored DMX cables and also XLR cables. Now, I've seen this being used at a gig that one of my friends uh, attended and I was also there as well. And we saw that the DJ had uh, separate audio cables in a different color. He had his um, XLR cables all in different colors and... It didn't really look nice, it didn't really look professional. Um, obviously with the black finish it looks a lot nicer. Um, but when you've got different cables coming out everywhere and they're all different kinds of colours and 
we were just interested in like why were the cables different colors so we went up to the dj and we asked him and he's like oh it's because he has purple cables for uh, his microphones he's got yellow xlr cables then for his speakers and then he's got i think it was um kind of like a red cable for his dmx cables and we're thinking like why is everything such like a mixture of colors why not just have everything all in one color so instead of you forking up money and buying extra cables you can literally just buy yourself a cheap tube of um electrical tape and then you just literally just put it around your uh audio cables and your dmx cables simple as that it's a cheap alternative and it's uh it makes things easier on you and this is also a massive benefit also if you would like to kind of organize your bags like what i normally do i like to have my audio cables in one bag and then my dmx cables in another bag or if they are going to be all in the one bag for one gig at least and i can kind of tell which one is which um because you can use obviously um you can use a dmx cable for your audio but you're going to hear a lot of um hissing and popping and you get like a lot of feedback in through your speakers especially when you're daisy chaining them and also when you're going to be using a um, dmx cable for your microphone you gotta be very careful with that as well because you're going to get a lot of static distortion so it's uh best that you use the right cables for the right purpose obviously your dmx for your lighting and your xlr for your audio okay there guys i'm gonna leave it there for this part of the video but if you like what you see feel free to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down it's completely up to you guys also feel free to smash that subscribe button wherever it may be it's going to be somewhere obviously it's going to be down below but feel free to smash it anywhere on the screen as well I'll try and remember to put the link up there but um yeah smash that subscribe button drop any comments that you have down below i appreciate all your feedback like we're slowly growing if there's any ideas that you also want me to do uh, leave it also down in the comments box below because I love reading your comments, whatever may come through. I try to respond to you guys as quickly as I possibly can. So um, yeah, take care and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>